Hey, good morning. This is Jay, I'm pretty sure, from the Caddis Fly Shop in Eugene, Oregon. And I, I'm going to do a short introductory video here to talk to you about tube flies. What I want to do today is for the beginning tire, give you an idea of why you might want to use a tube, a tube fly and uh, how diverse tube flies can be. So the first thing is, uh, why might you want to use a tube fly? Well, what if you're using a fly this big? It takes a lot of time to tie a fly like this. It's, it's a lot of materials, a lot of time, a lot of your sweat and uh, spirit going into this. You go out and you fish this in salt water or fishing it for pike and musky, um, they can get chewed up, uh, the hook could get dulled, it could get rusty, but when, when you use a tube fly of this size, you can replace the hook. You can, you can fish it tomorrow with a brand new hook. And it, you can also use a short shank hook that's less likely to pry out of the fish's mouth. So there are, that's a huge advantage to do this. Why put an hour, hour and a half at a time this fly when if the hook gets rusty or bent, you have to throw the whole thing away. You tie it on a tube, there's a tube. Uh, you can fish this much, much longer, sometimes many seasons. So this is an example of a tube fly. Well, what about on the other extreme? This is another extreme size. This is a tube fly. Uh, I would fish, you could fish uh, for summer steelhead. You could fish it for trout, uh, all kinds of places. You can fish it in lakes. <clears throat> the point is they're both, they're both tube flies. They both have the advantage of you can change out the hook and you can use a short shank hook. Um, <clears throat> So when you talk about, say, I'm fishing a tube fly, it doesn't really tell you much. You need to talk about what size you, f this is another tube fly. I think. Okay, this is another, this is a summer, a summer steelhead, winter steelhead <coughs> tube fly. It's a beautiful creation. It's very different than the other two flies I pointed out, but it has the same advantages. So these are all two flies. Let me show you another example. Steelhead, salmon, two ply. So my, my, my key point here is two flies have the advantage. You can replace the hook. You can use a short shank hook. Uh, that is uh, less likely to, for the fish to pry it out. Um, and they, you can tie any, almost any fly. No, you can't tie a size 22 trico on a tube. <laughs> that wouldn't make much sense. But uh, let's say from size 12 up, you can probably tie a very good fly on a tube. Ready for this young man? In addition to the advantage of being able to change out your hook, uh, if, you, if you use a, let's say you want it, you're tying a fly, you want it to float, you want it to skate, you want it to be in the surface film. By tying it on a tube like this and using a small uh, short shank hook, you've got a fly that basically has positive buoyancy. You'd have a tough time doing that with a conventional hook. But with a tube, you can do that. This is a neutral or positive buoyancy fly. Now, if you want your fly to sink, as I mentioned, I may not have mentioned, if you want your fly to sink, you can add weight to the tube. So, you want to float? You can do that. You want to sink? You can do that. Thank you for joining me, and boy, if you want to have some fun, Try something like this in your spare time.